Welcome to today's video. I'm Gary Wiriawan and today we're here in this beautiful resort called Kalyana Resort in Yogyakarta nearby the Mount Merapi volcano and this is day two of our stay here. So uh, I also recorded my everyday photography vlog yesterday during the evening. You can watch that video right here and today I thought I want to squeeze another time for photography as well. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is rising. Uh, we can actually see the volcano. There's not that much cloud and I think the lighting is just nice so I want to just grab my camera and shoot right away anyway you can check my everyday photography vlogs as well i recorded other vlogs from other different location this is part of the everyday photography challenge as well you can watch it on the card right here and i encourage you to also participate just try to make some time for photography not every day just whenever you have time but try to make an effort and you can submit your pictures here as well i will also put the link right here and also on the description below. Speaking of camera gear, I'm keeping it very simple today. I only brought my GX85 with me with the Lawa 7.5 mm, 35 to 100 mm Panasonic F4 to F5.6, and the 12 to 32 mm Panasonic kit lens, and also the 20 mm F1.7 Panasonic. But I didn't use it today. But yeah, I'm just keeping it simple. I'm going to switch uh, lenses uh, quite often today because we can get different kinds of field of view and uh, different kinds of objects during this photo shoot. Anyway, let's start with today's photo shoot. All right, so for our first shot of the day, uh, as you can see right there, you can see that's the uh, famous volcano called Mount Marapi here in Yogyakarta. And it's actually very clear no cloud around the volcano so i can get a clear picture of the volcano and now i'm using my gx85 with the 35 to 100 millimeter to just close in on the uh, volcano itself on the summit on the uh, crater above right there and just trying to get a clear shot of the uh, beautiful volcano it's it's actually very difficult to get a clear view of this volcano in the morning because it's usually covered in clouds much like mount fuji in japan so Yes, I'm using uh, 35 to 100 aperture priority. I'm at about 80 to 90 millimeter right now. I am uh, focusing at the volcano itself. F5.6 auto ISO and I got about 250 shutter speed and ISO 200 right now. Let's try to capture that one. The picture. I'm zoomed in all the way to 100 just trying to get a really focused picture of the volcano itself. I'm using a little bit of the leaves from the trees uh, on the left as well as uh, down there to kind of frame the volcano a little bit, make it look nicer and add a little bit of foreground of interest. Alright, I think that looks nice. Yep, I'm hoping for the sunlight from the right to hit the volcano and create some beautiful uh, lighting. I think it's gonna happen really soon. We just have to wait a little bit until it's clearing. I'm zooming out again to about 70 now and yeah I think I think this is a really really nice picture. Yeah we'll wait until the sun kind of hits the volcano in the right way. I'm, I'm zooming out to about 60 now to get a little bit of the right side of the volcano because I think it looks beautiful. I'm going to just go a little bit to the right side here. I need to be careful not to fall down into the valley below. And yeah, I think the light kind of hits the volcano right now. As you can see, you can see more of that green yellow color on the bottom part of the volcano. I think that looks really nice. I'm going to focus right there. It's a shame we need that blue sky, but now we get a little bit of a cloudy sky. I think it's not a big deal, but as long as we can still see the volcano clearly, then I'm happy. Alright, so now I switch to my Lawa 7.5mm. I am at F4 currently. And I'm trying to capture both the villa on the left right there with this courtyard area with a little bit of the volcano on the right and the main uh, focusing point will be this large tree right in the middle right here. I want to capture that one nicely and we now currently have some lights from uh, the sunrise on the right and 
uh, yeah let's just try to take the picture i'm at aperture priority iso 200 we get about 800 shutter speed not so bad not so bad all right this is the composition that i want looks nice really nice i love it Alright, so now I switch to the 12 to 32 millimeter because I think it's more versatile. I don't really need that wide of a lens anyway for today's photo shoot. I want to try to focus in, you know, normal focal length. So uh, with the uh, sunrise hitting behind us, I want to try to capture the villa and a little bit of the greeneries right here and a little bit of the trees over there. It's just really nice. And with the 12 to 32, I'm at 12 millimeter currently. Uh, I'm at aperture priority f5.6 so I'm going to try to capture the villa with a little bit of the trees on the left and trees on the right and a little bit of this grass courtyard area right here right we got about 250 out of a second and I think the light from the sunrise is hitting the villa beautifully I love this kind of lighting it's just so beautiful I'm going to try to go a little bit closer all right all right i can get a better shot from this angle right here nice nice i'm going to go a little bit closer this time so we can get that second villa on the left right there nice nice let's do it one more time nice i want to try to do vertical composition my favorite <laughs> composition everybody's always asking why vertical composition why not horizontal it's just because i'm a sucker for this kind of composition i think we need a strong element on the foreground otherwise it's not gonna work but we're just going to we're just going to try it anyway yep yep all right, maybe this is uh, nice for editorial because you can put the text down below right here when uh, you're gonna make an Instagram post or something like that. It's gonna look nice with that empty area on the bottom part of the image. All right. Alright, now we're at this dining area that we visited last night and we can get that sort of building with the pond that I also photographed last night. So I'm going to use the 12 to 32 at 12 millimeter to get as wide as I can and I'm going to try to capture the pond down below with the building and that bridge over there. I think it looks kind of nice, especially with the sunrise hitting straight from behind and we get that direct light, beautiful orange light from the sunrise. And I think that looks really nice with the 12 millimeter. I'm at f5.6 aperture priority auto ISO. Really nice. Very quickly, we revisited this swimming pool again, and I'm just trying to get. A tighter composition compared to last night with 12 to 32 millimeter at 12 millimeter I'm aperture priority f5.6 and I'm just trying to get this area of swimming pool with that sitting area right there with the background of that you know little hill back there with the greeneries and whatnot it's just beautiful so all right I'm focusing on one of the chairs and I'm trying to get the uh, swimming pool to look almost like infinite and just never ending i'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of the filas on the left let's see if we can find a nicer composition by uh, including the fila on the left All right we got about 200 of a second shutter speed not so bad not so bad very nice i'm going to tilt the camera a little bit upward to get a little bit more of the trees nice I'm going to kind of get closer to the swimming pool. You have to be careful not to drop the camera. Nice. Nice. And 
that wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that today's video is useful and inspiring for you so yeah once again i encourage you to try the everyday photography challenge you can submit to this link right here and yeah i hope that i will see your submission and i will feature your photo maybe on the next vlog so yeah that is all don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below thank you and see you on the next video